Hello and welcome to a new series. It is the year 769 and in the heart of the Abbasid Empire, right down here, we have the singular province, held by Sheikh Yahan Shah of Yazd. Now, why is this interesting? Well, he's Zoroastrian. And, well, they're a very interesting religion in CK2. They're known as, well, I would say they're the meme religion because they have divine marriage. So basically, we can marry our close kin to improve vassal relations. And that makes them, you know, that makes them fairly interesting. But beyond that, they also have some interesting decisions. We can restore the high priesthood if we are, if we have the Persian Empire, which it seems like a good goal. And we can also become the uh, Seo Shant, if I'm saying that wrong, apologies. And we need to have a whole bunch of things for that and the Persian Empire. So there's a lot of work ahead of us, especially as we're starting, as I said, down here. Now, we're not alone. If we go and have a look, there are a few other Zoroastrians around here. Um, none of them are us, but there are others around here. Oh, this one has a bloodline. What have we got? The blood of Sasan. Um, the founder of the Sassanid uh, dynasty, known as a great warrior, hunter, and high priest of the Zoroastrian faith. So I would say, first and foremost, we want to try and get that bloodline into our line. What does it give you, actually? What, what benefits? Enables sky burials. Well, I mean, I don't think we need anything else. Uh, but we also get Persian opinion, personal combat skill, monthly prestige, Mazdan opinion, Mazdan being the um, religion group. And yeah, that's pretty good. And the bloodline is active. Uh, it doesn't say when it's active, but I'm assuming it's that means it's active all the time, which is cool. That means if we switch religion or anything, not that I'm planning on it, but you know, it's an option. But yes, our goals are to grow Zoroastrianism. So we have a son, we have a wife. What are our stats like? So we've got all right, intrigue, all right, martial, a little bit of diplomacy. Are, are we underneath anyone in particular? We're underneath this guy. Okay. And this guy is Sunni. Are there any other allies potentially within our duchy? Uh, not from him. Let me just uh, have a look. All right. So he that's the top level. This one? Yeah. So this guy could potentially be our ally. Uh, this guy could be our ally. This guy could be our ally. So actually... Our liege has got a lot of Zoroastrians underneath them, and that's very, very good for us right now. So we potentially want to go in there and try and get alliances as soon as possible. However, if we get alliances, we can't marry our children to each other. So, you know, uh, we win some, lose some. Uh, I think at the very least, we can have our daughter, like our younger daughter, marry off. So let's marry her off to one of these people. Whichever one looks strongest and has a son. So you have a son. Okay, so that's definitely a potential marriage. So 300. You have a son. Uh, you have 400 troops. Again, potential marriage. Surjan has one son. He's one year old, 300 troops. But the more interesting one about that is because he only has one son. There's potential there for um, shenanigans. Um, yeah, what do we want to do? Let's go with this guy, though. Let's go with this guy, see if he will accept a betrothal between uh, my youngest and his son. He says yes, he quite likes me, uh, age is good, all of that sort of stuff. Skills, not so good, but anyway, he'll accept that marriage. So that seems like a good place to get our first alliance. In terms of a focus, what are we thinking of here? Mm, seduction? Potentially a good thing. We don't have any other family, do we? No, we, we just started existing at this point in time. Yeah, perfect, right. Um, so, character focus. I'm thinking intrigue could be quite good. Who's our lieges? Um, like, who are... He has three children. Okay. And then it would revert back to the top level liege afterwards. We probably want to start getting factions going, I'd imagine. Um... Yeah, Intrigue seems like it could potentially be good. Yeah, see what we could get there and try and get some factions going. Family, carousing, both not really necessary. Although carousing could potentially be good if we want to try and get uh, people around us to like us. We could also use Sway as well. Um, that could potentially work. Rulership, 
and uh, not really necessary. That's more when you're at peace business and rulership. Scholarship and theology, again, more peacetime ones. Uh, I think intrigue seems good for us right now. Yeah. What are our stats on our wife like? God awful. Okay, good to know. Right, we need a designated regent. Um, do we, we have vassals. Let's have a look here. So we have these two. Mayor, who gives us some troops. Is he giving us the max that he can give us? Uh, no. No, he's not, I think, because his opinion isn't high enough. So, um, let's make him my... Yeah, we'll make him that. My designated regent. Oh, we've got all sorts of new positions as well. Um, I don't know what these actually are, but that's fine. Uh, improving diplomatic relations. We almost want to just improve it on top of ourselves in order to make our um, two vassals like us right now. Uh, or we could try and get improved relations with our liege so he doesn't try and revoke our titles. Mm, that seems like a good idea right now. Let's try and do that. Right. Here, uh, I'm going to train troops in our capital so that we get some more um, troops around here. Administer realm, probably not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for collect taxes after some money. Scheming in order to find out plots. We may switch to build a spy network later so that we can potentially find out some more stuff. Although noble encouraged to join your faction is very interesting. What factions can we create? Increase council power. Okay, it's not brilliant, but maybe that's something we want to be doing. Yeah, maybe I'll just create any faction. And then I'll choose one of these other guys. Uh, and just start uh, trying to force him into it. So like this guy is going to start scheming against him. Build a spy network. Go get him into my uh, faction. Hunting apostates, not something I'm interested in. Converting is our land. Our land is Zoroastrian, so that's fine. Uh, research cultural tech, probably not necessary. Improve religious relations. Um, Yeah, probably not necessary. Okay, I think a hunt apostates is good because it gives us piety over time and also lets us find apostates. Uh, these aren't the best people for the positions, though, are they? Oh god, they are the best people for these positions. We are not starting with anything. Right, um, let's have a look at our ambitions. So, create a treasury. Potentially okay. Make a friend, acquire a title, build a war chest. We only need to get up to 300. How much will we make per month? Two. Okay, groom and heir is quite good, because once our child reaches 12, which is only four years away, we can then, um, yeah, we can get some extra bonuses there. Yeah, let's groom and heir. That seems good. Important decisions. Demand increased council power and recruit a court physician. Do we not have anybody uh, available? We don't, so we should probably get a court physician. Although we could just not, and then it will give us one if we need one. Yeah, I suppose so. That's fine. Three children lack focuses. So our son, he has affectionate. Um, so affectionate, is that the only good one here? And develop into kind, content, trusting. I don't think timid is good, so I don't want to give him to, I don't want him to have that one. Uh, struggle is generally good if you want him to fight things. I think that the best one here is going to be thrift, and we'll try and focus him into a uh, diplomatic um, education. Yeah, we'll change his um, educator once he... Uh, uh, gets the actual education one uh, next. This person starts with humble already. Um. Well, beyond that, there's not really a lot I want to do here. She's my youngest. You know what? I'll give her a faith. Why not? Uh, that's fine. And then this one, humble and idolizer. So I already had faith at one point. Uh, let's just give her thrift. That's fine. Right. Then important decisions we can ignore for just now. And I'm going to unpause. Right, so let it go a couple of days, then start speeding it up some more. That is the betrothal accepted, fantastic. Uh, you want an alliance? No. Oh, okay. Um, he just has no opinion of me. Um, could offer a concubine, but it doesn't get us any opinion. Uh, talking of concubines, we are allowed to have them, and because we have someone uh, eligible in our court, we probably should have a concubine. Um, just because I think if you don't have concubines, it lowers... Oh, it doesn't do anything with your prestige. I, I think con having concubines uh, raises your prestige, though. Uh, take concubine. Although she does have a stutter, and that is a genetic trait I don't necessarily want in my family, so we'll, we'll leave her for just now. Yeah. Um, do I want to spy on my leash? Yeah, let's spy on my leash as well. 
Right, see what see what we can do there. Uh, oh, we're apparently attacking someone in a holy war for Zabulistan. Okay, so that is where. Can't spot it immediately, so must be far away from where we currently are. Is that it there? That's it there. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll be in that area. I, it, it, we don't need to worry. It's a little bit far away from us. That's fine. Um, is this person a tributary of our of our leash? Yes. Okay. So the Tade one is a yeah tributary there. That seems good for us. Right. So this guy doesn't want an alliance with us. What we can do is we can sway him. Right. Uh, yes. So we'll start swaying him to our side. Uh, keep a close eye on our liege and continue on. Okay. We have overheard uh, this guy telling shocking lies about his rightful leash, so we could tell the next guy up, keep the information to myself, or spy on someone else. Hmm, you'll either stay at factions or be exposed, giving you the right to imprison them. Well, it won't give me the right to imprison it'll give my the next level up a right to imprison them. I'm going to keep the information to myself, it doesn't further my gains right now. Or like, my, it doesn't further what I want to do. I'm starting to think that Zaneb might fancy me. Not my type. Not at all. Doesn't, not gonna work for us here. Oh, he's told shocking lies about his rightful liege again. Not interested. There are so many wars. Okay. Um, there's holy wars all over the place. These all attacking. Um, defending against one, but we shouldn't need to worry about them. Hopefully. Hopefully we shouldn't need to worry about them. My dear Sheik. If you think I let any vassal of mine support factions conspiring against me without taking action, you are sorely mistaken. If you value your wretched life, you will not swear not to form any such faction. It's not worth dying if there's no afterlife, or there's no shame backing down over this. Both of these are fine. Yeah, there's no shame backing down over this, I think I'll say. So, we're out of our faction, unfortunately. Uh, which did have a lot of people in it, but not a lot I could do about it, really. Um, yeah, so we'll just hold off. I sent Stuart uh, Mar Zuban to oversee construction in a county. And the building fell apart almost instantly. Then I sent him to collect taxes in one of the richest provinces, and he returned with much less than I had anticipated. Mar Zuban clearly lacks the stewardship skill needed to perform even the simplest of tasks. Okay, so I can say not good enough, or uh, I can't trust him. Um, we're going to chastise him and see what he says. Okay. Um, perhaps I should use my extensive military knowledge to impress the Sheik. I don't really have that much extensive military knowledge, but, you know, let's try it. We're much better at it than he is, so, yeah. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, my dissertation on military matters was very appreciated, it seems. Sheik Manu Chihir uh, thanked me for sharing my knowledge with him, remarking that he will treasure what he has learned from me. Well, how could he not? So he likes me a little bit. That's good to know. Can we get an alliance yet? He will accept the alliance due to political concerns that are major. I was thinking that might happen soon, yeah. Uh, I found out nothing useful about Emir Nazir. Um, well, I'm gonna lie. Yeah, he likes to bathe in the blood of virgins. Brilliant. Brilliant. We have an alliance. Uh, are there any new factions that are formed? There was a new faction. We only said that we wouldn't, uh, you know, we wouldn't make factions. We can join here. I'm going to join the faction. We're going to be generally uh, unruly. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, how many men do we have? We have about 400 odd. Not really great for us right now. Is there anything I can build in my capital that's going to increase that? Uh, we can maybe go for something like, I don't know, build keep seems okay. Uh, that would get us a few. That would get us five percent more. It's not a huge amount more, really. I think we ro really want barracks. If yeah, barracks seem like the best one for us right now. Um, although riding grounds is also quite nice, but uh, yeah, I think we want barracks. So 146 gold, so we can get anything there. Um, we're gonna keep information about our liege to ourselves, but we are making everybody else dislike him quite a lot. Uh, what was that one there? There was some revocation stuff. Title revocation laws being passed, and there's a revolt. Okay. So we need to be worried about that slightly. 
Uh, he's still telling lies about his leash. We don't need to worry about that. My cynical comments have made people look at things my way. I've created more cynics. No way they can keep up with me. Wearing reports for reached you regarding your Marshal Mayor Mash ad. It seems he's been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry. Well, that's not great. Um, we can say we'll deal with it later, at which point the mayor will like me, but Sheik uh, Jahan Shah, uh, wait, that's me, will dislike him. I think that's the one we go with. Yeah, we want his opinion of me to go up so we can get more troops out of him, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see what we can do there. Uh, we can righteously imprison him as well now. If we imprison him, I don't think we're allowed to hold on to the city. Or I don't think it's beneficial to hold on to the city, but let's have a look here. No, we can't hold city titles without a negative. If we imprison him though, does he have money? Um, he has 161. We could imprison him and then banish him, take his money and give the title to someone else. That seems potentially good. I'm going to raise up our men. Uh, and then I'm going to do it. Uh, do I want to lead? I have no leaders. Wait, am I just not eligible to lead any armies? What? Well, why not? I'm just not. Uh, I could try and kill um, Nazir, one of my informants, a young soldier with more vices than he can afford, has managed to gain the trust of Amir and Nazir, and now often stands guard outside his door. I don't understand how the fellow has managed it, but who am I to live? look a gift horse in the mouth? For enough gold, he might be persuaded to get rid of Nazir violently. Um, I don't want to kill him. Yeah, I, 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 he's useful to me alive. Right, in prison. Oh, we just imprisoned him. 47% chance, did it. Nice. Well, um, I'm sorry, Mayor, but I'm going to kill you now. He doesn't provide me any more troops now he's in my prison. He really, really doesn't like me, huh? Yeah, imprisoned, wants seat on council, in prison. Yeah, he really doesn't like that. So if I banish him, do I get all of his money? Uh, oh, it would be seen as tyrannical. Okay. Oh, what's our succession law of curiosity? Gavel kind. Ah. Uh, oh, well. Well, can't have everything. Let's see. I could execute him, which is an also not okay. I could allow him to ransom himself out for 25 gold. He would be much happier at that point. They get the 25 gold. He no longer has in prison. Uh, he does have imprisoned, but I can also then put him back on the council. That gets us. That gives us a benefit for putting him on the council. I think he'll still dislike me, but I think it's the best option is to take the money. Can I take any concubines off him? No. Okay. We'll take the money. Designated regent. Um, going to be this guy now. Right, we'll wait a couple seconds. Fantastic. Uh, he still wants a seat on the council. Well, we're still going to give him the seat on the council, unfortunately. Oh, I can. Oh, wow. I guess because I imprisoned him for it. Uh, that seems sensible, actually. Anybody actually have martial? You have martial skill. Do any of you have stewardship skill? Not really. Um, hmm. I am kind of r low on people. Does anyone want to join my court? Like, at all? Join court, yes. Oh, there's quite a few, actually. Anyone with martial? Any males of martial? There we go. We'll invite this guy to court. Fantastic. Good news for you. You are now my new marshal, or Eren Spatbod. Yes. Uh, fantastic. He doesn't like me, but, you know, I don't need him to like me. I need him to do his job. Okay, so we can still recruit the court physician. Don't need to worry about that. I'm thinking a good way to sway Sheik Manu Chihur into liking me a bit more uh, is to uh, titillate the senses uh, of a man. Oh, all right. I have to titillate the senses with some courtesans. No, because that costs me money, and I need the money. Okay, fine. We're create that guy created an emirate. I can abduct our liege. Now that is interesting. Hmm. I've learned from my little birds that Emir Nazir plans to travel the realm incognito for a lark, mingling with the common folk. He will only be protected by two loyal friends during this little adventure. A great opportunity to have him abducted, if I so wish. Let's 
try it. I mean, what do we get? We get gold out of it. We could kill him. We could just keep him imprisoned if we wanted to. You know what? I'm going to try it. It's only five gold. We have a lot of options. Um, well, he didn't find out anything about it, so that's good. So, not really a lot ventured. It's fine. Uh, we didn't put a lot into that. My liege, I write to you with bad news from Yazid. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met with resistance and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt on our hands here soon. Uh, not great, I would say. You know, not my top 10 things that have happened. Zoriastrian rebels have risen up in Yazid, led by militant Hebard. If not swiftly crushed, this revolt could spread like wildfire. I mean, it's good, but also bad, because that's my province. I'm going to try and imprison my liege. It didn't work. Okay. Oh, no. The Zoroastrian uprising might be the end of us. Oh, no. Um, We're now... Wait, we're now in the civil war to raise council power. Okay, I see. We might be in the too many wars um but now we're no now we're underneath this guy okay i can't provide you any troops i'm sorry but um i have my own issues things have gone very quickly from bad to worse and well i think that's a good point to end the first episode thank you for watching if you enjoyed this as this is the first episode of the series this will be the only time i say it um if you'd like subscribe uh, comment, all that sort of stuff. It helps uh, me feel better, it makes the series do better, and it makes the channel do better, and it's great all around. There's no real downside. So, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.